Oh, now shit's got real, son. So my sister left this piece of mail for me uh, outside my door, and um, it's a market development courtesy reply card from Playboy. My beef with that is that Playboy doesn't do nudes anymore in their magazine, and why would I even buy it? I mean, sure. I read the articles. I've even thought about writing for Playboy. Of course, nobody responds to my applications. I even submitted an application for Playboy magazine. They didn't respond. They didn't reply. Neither did Vice or Fusion or New York Times or any one of the other plethora of magazines that I've applied to reply but what I'm gonna do with this is frame it it is their last and final attempt at not going completely bankrupt the internet has ruined a lot of people's careers but it's made a lot of a lot of more careers and Companies like Playboy, Playboy Magazine, the magazine side, not the online side, have been completely altered, completely changed, and are going out of business. But I'd say ultimately that the lesson here is not to be not to be startled by a new digital revolution to usher in the new era the future to usher in the future the digital age is not a thing to be terrified of it's it's gonna be our friend what I am terrified of is um, something like Facebook having access to every single part of your life every part of it is out there on the internet now and you are freely submitting this information to people who do not know who you are they don't they don't they don't know the 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 nervous ticks they don't know your finer side, but you're putting out where you are, who you've been with, your contacts, your location now and in the future. There are military personnel publishing um, OPSEC and InfoSec protected information online through social media accounts we are sharing too much information and and it is it is terrifying that is the terrifying part not not the part of technology in which a force will forcibly take over the world like the skynet robot army the terrifying thing is that people nefarious will have access to information you don't want them to have access to and that goes back to the OPM hacks where my information was compromised I'm scared I'm I'm scared of what these hackers are going to do with my information my social security number uh, every single question on my background information check was violated so what are they going to do with my and two million other people's personal information are they going to use it to 
buy us in the future, bribe us, if, if, if I ever am in political office, would I be approached by a nefarious person from a state or private entity with access to my personal information with ill intent and make me do something that I that I would regret because they have hold over me and they can frame me that's a fear another fear is that somebody's going to take my identity and that I'm gonna be out there spending hundreds of dollars that I don't have maybe somebody's going to live a second life of mine that is not mine but uh, there's another theory that I have and this theory I am going to be addressing in my novel it is the theory that these hackers were on their way in right and they compromised two million people's worth of 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 classified data but what if that was a, a ruse what if what they were really doing was putting something in and not taking anything out what if they were establishing legends through these hacks and that's a that's a big bucket of bolts to to comprehend there but it's, it's a food for thought one other thing I am gonna link up my blog post that I wrote um, I posted this on on my blog it is the uh, the post that I wrote on my typewriter explaining why I am no longer on Facebook and you can find that online uh, uh, in the comments section no not the comments section but the um, description I know I haven't gotten, um, I, I know I may not have yet a solid, um, theme for these videos, but I'm working on it. Um, yeah, well, this ain't no fucking fun for Louie, Casey Neistat, chippy cheerio fucking vlog. Thank you.